kind of disassembling this down here. Oh, see that, can't you? Probably take a little WD-40 and everything to this. So anyway, I guess without further ado, I mean, let's go ahead and let's jump into this video and let's do it. All right, so the first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this screw here um, uh, I think I remember how all this right here comes apart and everything. I had this apart at once upon a time. There's that. So I lay it screw right there. All right. So that's what I wanted right there. So. What I do now is to keep up with stuff, I just go ahead and I just put this screw back up in here to keep up with stuff. So what I need to do right now is I'm gonna take this here off of my work bench. And I'm just gonna lay it on the floor right here. So now we have just this right here. Now I'll be able to get access to everything. It, you know, it's just easier access. So, uh, yeah, let's put y'all right here. I don't know if I have grease or anything. Yeah, it looks like once upon a time it was grease here. But, yeah. Now you can get like a better idea, you know, those things here. It's really good. But uh, anyway, what I want to do is, is I want to inspect everything. And I want to make sure that everything is 100% uh, fully functional. I want to clean these wheels up here. I'm going to uh, use what you call freeze off, uh, WD-40, and then I got some other stuff, I forget what it's called, WD-40, I'm just gonna be using it for cleaning, and other than that, I think WD-40 is pure shit. I guess, uh, let's go ahead and let's jump on it. Here's some of the sprays I was talking about. You got CRC freeze off, right here, top notch, number one on the planet Earth. If you don't know about it, you need to get to know about it. If you got any rusted nuts, bolts, anything that's rusted, this shit right here will, and I guarantee, without snapping the nuts, bolts, whatever, you get, uh, you get it off. I guarantee with this CRC uh, freeze off, none of this stuff here is sponsored or none of that. I mean, I don't get paid for none of this shit. Anyway, this super slick, slick stuff. This stuff right here is some really good stuff, and yeah, it's what it says it is, and it's really good shit. I got a little washcloth here. That's that. So first thing first, what I want to do is I meant to uh, get my gloves. Let me grab my gloves here. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start uh, cleaning this thing here up. Want to make sure this thing here is perfected. That's what I like. Uh, I'm just gonna take. A little bit of this uh, WD-40. Start wiping it down a little bit. You know, we're not trying to make it look perfect for me. You know, I may have this in my house, so. It's 
pretty good at cleaning this one. That's about it. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this here up and we'll move on to the next thing. All right, so uh, now I got it cleaned up about as best as I can uh, get it. Anyway, what I wanna do now is I don't wanna try to flip this here over like so. I wanna try to get down up in here show y'all what I'm talking about I'm gonna try to get down up in here and I want to try to get all that dirt dust and all that because that right there can affect uh, the performance and all that and it looked like somebody had put some type of JB weld or something right over here uh, I'm pretty sure it's picking up on camera. Uh, let me show you right here. You get a better idea. Right there. But, yeah. I mean, it functions pretty good. This right here, I think I've already said it. If I haven't, uh, this right here is aluminum. This right here is real aluminum. This right here ain't none of that little bitch shit. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start, uh, cleaning this here out a little bit and try to get all this dirt and stuff up out of here. All right, so I'm gonna take a little WD-40. I'm just gonna clean this here out. Just like everything to be pretty much uh, done right. In my past few videos, I've been talking about how I was going to hack this figure off. Alright, let's see what happens. Y'all place y'all vets before I start doing this. Uh, tell me if you think you cut through this here. Alright, I'm going to put on one of my gloves here. So let's see what happens. Yeah, we now we have access to this here better you know we don't have like this right here uh, we don't have that right there in the way and again this right here is the Dremel 4000 as you see right here let me go ahead and let me uh, clean that on up if y'all don't know how to change these bits here out I'm gonna show y'all how to do that right now actually I don't need the screwdriver uh, what you basically need to do is, is you need to get your uh, little wrench that came with your uh, Dremel. You need to hold down this button here and do that. There you have that right there. Then you take and you just spin that off like that. Then you just take that, do it like that, tighten it up for a little bit and there you have it. What I'm gonna be doing next, all these little metal shavings here, if you would, I'm gonna have to uh, kind of grind them down, make it smooth. All right, so, uh, I came to the conclusion, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut this side off also as well, like I did this here. Um, 
because I could probably use these parts here, you know, so like for maybe um, like L brackets or, you know, I can, you know, maybe weld something up or something like that. Now we got both, both of them off. There you have it. I guess it's time to go ahead and uh, put it back together again. So we're just gonna take this. Yeah, like that. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in here like that. Now it's time to test the product here. Alright, so I want to thank you everyone for watching, um, liking, and disliking this video. You There's gonna thank the dislikes? Yeah. Why not? So with that right there being said, I'm gonna have to do more tweaks and adjustments to this here. Uh, so it's probably gonna be what part five. Y'all go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, and it is falling. Huh? That's it. It keeps falling. Yep.